<laughs> yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. She's all grown up now, honey. Lori's having a birthday this Yay. next week. Oh, wow. I don't my know baby daughter is over 50 years old now. She told me the yes. other day, and I just don't accept it. I don't accept it either, Jim. <laughs> There's still those little kids, aren't they? Though, Aren't your babies always the babies? Yeah. <laughs> you just, you just so never stop true. thinking of it's true. as the babies. That's and true. Lori, you're going to be, how old are you going to be? Do you want to tell you us? Have to tell. I mean, when you're around your baker, you know you're not supposed to ask a lady how old she is, but it's okay. 64. Yeah. I'm great. Oh, no. You, you can retire in one more year. I'm like, I just wish I was turning 65 so I could get my Medicare. You know, I, I'm just like, no joke. Why do we even have 64? We should just skip over that year and go straight to 65. But, oh. yeah. No, I'm so grateful to be alive and what God is doing Amen. and to be with you, you know, on a daily basis. I love it. I, I love what I get to do. This is Thank you for taking my role last week and hosting the show. I and boy, did she do an amazing Thank job. Thank you, honey. I keep talking, trying to talk my wife into hosting more because <laughs> you, you did, you know, when I was really out of it after the stroke you took over right. a lot it was and something uh, with, yeah with I, kids. I just you know she doesn't think she can do it but i told her she could and so you know that god's called her to do it she's my other half so this is the other half but you have to learn and i have learned from the best god so you. literally i have learned from the best nobody you know the minute it, i laid eyes on you i was in love with you oh honey thank so you Plus, it's our anniversary coming up this next week. Too. It is. So we have, yeah, on my birthday, and and then five Can days you later we Lori got married. Been married twenty. Let's see if he gets this right. Oh Lori, <laughs> no, don't. Twenty-two years. Three. You're oh, right. Wow. <laughs> He's not a date person at all. I mean, is it going to be twenty-three or is it, is it twenty? It's going to be twenty-three. Yeah. Well, so it's twenty-two. So, so I was right. <laughs> So By the time this show airs, it's 23. <laughs> oh, no. But, yeah, it's been a pretty amazing, and we'll talk about all that, you know, in a few days. But, yeah, pretty amazing 23 years of Jim Baker. I mean, Tammy Sue, I honestly, if I gave you guys the back, so the real stand back right there story. and sing, you can make it. Just one verse of it, please. It's for death, but, for death. Okay, finish saying what No, I was just going to say, Tammy Sue pulled me aside and gave me some oh, practical oh. advice about her dad when we first met, because we met and married in seven weeks. So that was, you know, I don't recommend well, that for not everybody. Give the advice but, on when, TV. but when <laughs> you, you know, you know, when you're a little older, you know, I mean, I was 40, Jim was. 58. So it's like, so Tammy Sue pulled me uh, uh, alone and gave me some advice about her dad. Jamie pulled me al alone and yes. gave me advice about his dad. And you know, I have to say every word of their advice was true and came to play. And, and I, I'm so grateful that I took it and listened to You're them. You're lucky because... most men don't come with instructions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, Mondo. Oh, good. Boy. That's true. He came with instructions, Mr. He came Jim. with some instructions. Yeah. That's right. That was good. <laughs> well, we're about to introduce our guest. We are. <laughs> Pastor Robert Henderson yes. is here with us today. Is Thank back you. with Thank us. You. We love Thank you. you. We love your ministry, Thank your you. teaching. One of the most sought-after speakers in America today. Can yes. you believe that mm -hmm. his books on the courts of heaven have just yes. gone bananas? Oh, no, that's not a good word to use. <laughs> <laughs> just spectacularly, though, people love their books. They do. They do. The, the, the Court of Heaven um, series, it's actually a series, and, and I continue to write books on it. It's just it. people have found an answer to unanswered prayer in those books, it's, yes. and that's that's what that's what's caused them to be so it's successful. It's so powerful that it's almost supernaturally yes. the way to believe it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I do believe that that there's a supernatural unction on those books. Yeah. That because when people read them, it's like it's not just letters on a page. It's not, it, it's like an importation that comes. Yeah. Are you telling yeah. us there's going to be another one? Oh yeah, I, I turn. I, uh, there's going to be one coming out with me and my son real quickly. Oh, that's, that's awesome. called uh, uh, imparting 
generational blessings from the court of heaven. Yeah. Because lots of times we talk about the court of heaven and undoing all that the devil's doing, but there are legal things that are hanging in the spirit world that we can grab hold of, and it, it, they can be generational blessings imparted Would into our family line. Would you release that book on our show? Please? Oh, I would love to. Please I would come love and to. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Sure. Because you have a brand new book out, The Gifts of Tongues, and boy, is it a good book. Yeah. I don't usually say yeah. that, that there is such a great book, but the, Bishop Bill Hammond, one of my dear friends, mm. has read, written a forward to it, and right. he really believes in this. Yes. And I believe, uh, you know, a lot of people hear the word, how many would say you're a Pentecostal? Raise your hand if you feel like you're a Pentecostal. <laughs> well, my whole audience is I Pentecostal. Guess, yes, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> but, you know, we don't talk about the gift of tongues much anymore. Mm -mm. In a lot of Pentecostal churches, you, you don't even hear speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. You don't hear about it. So this book, why would you do such a book? This, this is very important. And yes, it's it fe is. feeding me. Yes, thank you. Something I needed right now because uh, wh what were those things that I was talking to you about earlier? Do you, do you remember? You were talking yeah, about What this. page was that on? The three Ds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The three yes. Ds. Yeah. Yes. That, 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 well, the Bible says when we pray in, in the Spirit, pray in tongues, it builds us up. And I say it's the solution to discouragement and despair and depression and disillusionment, any, any of the Ds. I, I listed three there. Right. But, but the, so many people struggle with that. We're going we're gonna to talk about that. I think you're going to be yeah. with me two days if we can keep you for two okay. days. <laughs> and, uh, but discouragement, depression, and delusion, and that the defeat of these, okay. this is what I needed. Amen. Yes. Yes. And whenever I bring stuff to the show that I need, I know somebody out there needs it too. That's right. That's Amen. True. Yes. Because I'm human. I know most of you are supernatural, but I'm <laughs> natural yet. I'm still in the flesh. You know, Lori sitting next to me. Marisela's not here today, but to, uh, little Lori, my name's sake. And I, we talked about impartation for a little mi minute there. And I was just sharing with somebody this morning about how when Lori was born, I, I was the first one to hold her. And I, I knew this spiritual impartation went inside of her, but I didn't know what it was at mm. the time. I was so new in the things of the yes. Lord. And she's 30 years old now, so that was 30 years ago. And... <laughs> And, um, but I, the other day when, when Jim was just too sick to come and do the show, it was last minute. This is the one thing in life I still feel like I can do, whether I don't know. I told Lori, when I get really bad, just tell me, don't go on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe but me, I won't let you. I, I really, but uh, just before the program, I begin to vomit. Mm. Oh, gosh, honey. Oh, wow. Is that? Is, oh, no, sorry, but everybody. I, mean, I, was, I was really <laughs> nauseatedly, and I'm nauseated a lot, but I'm, <laughs> but, but just really sick to my stomach. And so you just can't come on the air vomiting. You just can't do that. Just... Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> he tells everything, oh, no boy. joke. One of the ladies in the audience just put her hands to her head. Oh, yeah. oh, God, what does this man so say? True. Yeah, me too. I'm right there with you. <laughs> but anyhow, you took my place for that. But what I that loved day. was how the family went immediately into action. I, I love, you know, that we have all well, of our family Well, this is a family show. This, it really is. Of, yes. And so, Lori, so Lori's here with us Lori. today because yes. Marcella's so out. To be here. Thank you. I love having her. She's um, so amazing to me. So immediately, without hesitation, they just said, you know, Jim's not doing it. Jim just said on the phone, I'm not coming in. And so you're going to host the show. I said, okay. So immediately, little Lori ran to the house to be with with Jim and just to take care of him and speak life over him and she's sitting in even when I got home she's sitting on the edge of, edge of the bed just speaking life into him and it was really precious to see it why Mondo, Maricela and myself we hosted the broadcast and Lori was right over there taking care of you it was pretty amazing I want the people to, I just the Holy Spirit is quickening me to pray mm -hmm. for our son Ricky yeah, and, and uh, he's That's been good. through. He's been, he's, he's been down a little bit, and in, in bed 
physically ill. Yeah, he had COVID. I already told everybody on TV. So. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> you already, I already said it. He had COVID. If you his think I tell everything, she and would whole, tell everything. Oh, so I don't can worry tell you so much more. That. But and his whole platoon. I mean, and he had it bad. Yeah. Wow. He got it bad. I'll tell you, we better pray for our army. Yes. 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 We are. They've, they've got some crazy rules and stuff that they're trying to put on the guys. Yeah. And you, you better start praying for the armed services. Mm -hmm. Because without godly armed services, I'm telling you, we are really in trouble. And that's where our country's headed, to be a godless nation. But I believe Ricky, I believe this, and, and he believes it. But I believe he's going to be one of the... Part of the family. Four or five of us <laughs> yeah. that's going to be doing this show. In fact, I've been tempted to call it the Baker Family Show right. because that's where we're headed with this thing. And Ricky's been, uh, you know, graduated from Bible college, and he's really a preacher. He's really a good he's preacher. He's an amazing preacher. And he's been in the Army, which I don't know if that's helped him or hurt him, but I'm, I'm sure it's helped him because he'll give him leadership and, and yes. all. Mm -hmm. And so is it all right for me to say that? I, I just want them to pray for Ricky. Yeah, just yes. pray for and him. And just that I believe he's going to be one of us, mm -hmm. Mondo. Yeah. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five of us then on the set Tammy with Sue's our right guests. There. <laughs> well, Tammy Sue's on every day. I have her on the sit, set setting. Pastor Robert Henderson's book, The Gift of Tongues. Yes. I want you to be Vital, sure to get, this is brand new. This is amazing. Mm. This is something. Pastor Joe, you believe in tongues. Amen. <laughs> I love you, Pastor Joe. Yes. Appreciate the way you love the congregation and love the people and love me. You still love me? <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. We love okay. Pastor Joe. We just lost one of our... Another Joe, mm -hmm. one of our faithful members, not a very old man, really, about Lori's age, I think, more, more than my age, <laughs> and uh, his wife works with us closely, mm -hmm. and, and it's just heartbreaking when you lose people, mm -hmm. right. but they all have to go home, Amen. and the trouble getting older, you or <laughs> if there is trouble getting older, you, 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 it's... You have more you get, friends in heaven than you do yeah, on earth. Yeah, that's, they, that's what it is. They pass away. <laughs> yeah. And you don't, get, you, you don't ever get used to it, do you? Mm -hmm. No. Right, right. Never get used to it. And when that light goes out in that eyes and they're gone to eternity, you know that they're not there. Mm -hmm. They're in heaven. They're, they're out, gone to be with Jesus. Mm -hmm. But um, Pastor Joe, I appreciate you, the way you handle so many things for us here and mm -hmm. bless us and pastor our church here. Amen. And uh, thank you for being in the congregation today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all of you that are regulars here, this is, you say, well, you know, we're up here in the, in the mountains. You had to get here, right? Yes. Robert? Yeah, it's not easy to get here. You <laughs> You're have not to... passing through. You see, I'm just dropped in, Jim. Right. You know. Yeah, it's not you've like you're be driving here on the to freeway come here, you know, the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and so it is so important that we have this group of people that live here and more people are moving here. Amen. Mr. Crawford has been building houses here and they he just build them all the time. Mm -hmm. They're opening a house almost every month, at least, or, or more. Brand new houses, beautiful houses. And, and uh, Grandma Shara has moved into her new yes, house. She and has. She, so, she just loves it. I, I think we'll have a tour of her house. Oh, she, my God. No, okay. I bet she'll let me. I bet she'll let me. No. Sue, don't you oh, think she'll let me? She would love it. The tour of Grandma Shara's house. Because it, it is really lovely. You're hysterical. And the, 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 thing is, the thing is, he does things like this. I can remember when we were living in the condos here. She knew what? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I got the kids here. I, this is a true story. I can remember when we were living in the condos here, raising all these kids. I had a bunch of kids in condos, can you imagine? And it was a lot. Couldn't find Ricky and Marie anywhere. It was like this place was still being built empty. I'm like, how do you get a hold of so we were here for living here for six years, and one 
It's one Christmas. What did Dad have us do? Jim Baker had, uh, we had a Christmas tour through our condos, which we had condos stacked on top of each other to fit all these kids. No joke. I, I think close to 500 people came through that condos, condos. And I'm like, oh my goodness. We set up Christmas and then they trees everywhere. Oh, and your office. And we, and we had pictures a picture with everybody. <laughs> That's right. Those are good times, yes. Did you, oh, there, was that, the, did you guys love that? Memories, yes. <laughs> we put up Christmas trees but for days. But you know, the Lord for days. gave me yeah. the, the most wonderful dreams about Morningside last night. Mm. Again, because you had them last week, too. Yeah. Oh. And, That's and, uh, good, honey. Do you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling charged. Amen. <laughs> Brother <Praise> Henderson. God. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, things that need to be done here that Amen. we, that, in the new studio and all oh, the new, mm -hmm. and Praise oh God. my God, if you would see the vision I have for, God's going to supply the need and he showed me. Amen. Yes. The Amen. finances are going to come because this is so important it in these really last is. days. And, and in the Hall of the Prophets studio is going to be built. Amen. 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 And it's going to be a place where people will gather in these end times. Yes. And people must hear this word of the Lord. And they hear the men of God. I watched the Jim Baker show. Did you know that? <laughs> You're talking I'm, about you watch it on TV no, after we've already. I don't watch it, it when I'm doing it. No. No. It's hard. <laughs> when I do it, it's, it's kind of, wow. You know, you get just at thinking of questions, trying to keep up with my <laughs> guests to make sure. The pauses aren't too long after I wait for the next question to come, you know, what I'm supposed to say. And, you know, and I'm just thrilled Amen. with the thoughts of what God has for us, Thank you, Lord. for the it's vision exciting. God has given to me, mm. yes. things that I think you're going to like. Yes. And I just need God's people to stand with me. Amen. Yes, we do. Amen. God's with me. He told me that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to see it. A big miracle take place. But we want to get to Robert Henderson today. Sue, sing that little bit of song. It's only 30 seconds long. So this this is for everyone today. We All right, will. sing that. Just, just for somebody out there that needs that, that they can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Oh, this trial. You're going through. God's going to show you just what to do. You can make it. You can make it. I don't care what's going wrong. God won't let it last too long. And you're not in this thing alone. You can make it. You well, can make it. You. <laughs> amen. Amen and amen. Wow. This past weekend, uh, you, uh, Larry Sparks, I believe it was, Cindy Jacobs, and several others ministered at a revival service that wow. they tell me was amazing. Mm. Tell us about Pentecostal fire. <laughs> yeah, it was in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, oh my. Larry and Destiny Image had pulled this together and oh asked my. some of us to come. And Larry. some, what, what, a lot of what was there was like these young revivalists. You know, there's a lot of young revivalists that are rising up Amen. across this nation. Amen. And I mean, revival services are breaking out in tremendous ways. But the whole issue was to, um, was to, grab hold of Pentecostal fire so that we could see a, a, re, a, a revival come to the nation of America. Amen. And so what I did, my part, what I did was they wanted me to open the conference and, and present us in, that we might step into the courts of heaven yes. so that everything that was done, done in that conference could speak in the courts of heaven and that God on the basis of that testimony could render a judgment that would let his glory come to the earth. Wow. Because this is what I tell yes. people. Yes. See, we, we've taught that somehow or another I've got to convince God to do something. 
So we, that's not prayer. Prayer is not convincing God. Mm. Prayer is stepping into a spiritual dimension and agreeing and moving with God yes. so that things come into order so that what's in heaven can come to earth. Amen. And that's and c because why would we have to convince God to do something he already wants to do? Yeah. You see, it's the enemy that's resisting it. And if we can remove those blockages out of the way, from the court of heaven, we can see the glory of God come. Yes. Praise and so that's God. what we did in that conference. That's awesome. Yeah. Can you explain how we are need to be able to enter the courts of heaven again? We, we never get tired of hearing oh, that. Oh, amen. <laughs> and, maybe, amen. and we have a lot of new viewers. Maybe yes. they've really never heard about the courts of heaven yes. that we're talking about. Well, you know, I just keep getting, I, we, I have my own show on your network. Yeah. Yes. KTL Network. And, yes. and it's called the court of heaven with Robert Henderson. And, and so every... Every week when we're, you know, I, I teach us a little bitty piece of the court of heaven. And then I also give a testimony of what's happened from the court of heaven. Uh, people are amazed that there's that many testimonies that come out of the court of heaven. In fact, I just got a testimony this morning from someone in England who was in a coma or in a whatever state they were in yeah. with COVID. And while they were with COVID, they were in the court of heaven. They knew nothing about the court of heaven. They were in the court of heaven, and there was the enemy had a case against them. And they began while they were in the court of heaven, while they were in this state, to answer that case. They got completely well. When they got back and started sharing their testimony, someone said, have you heard of Robert Henderson and the teaching on the court of heaven? They said, no. And they said, oh. they emailed us and they said, <laughs> everything you say is real. Yeah. Wow. wow. Everything you say, I was awesome? there. I got healed from COVID out of the court of heaven. Incredible. Everything you're telling people is real. Amen. Well, let's it roll is. a little bit of your program. Okay, yeah. And uh, of course, we have an airing on the PTL Voice of the Prophets Network. This is a trailer from his show. So let's roll that and then we'll talk about it. But we have a right to stand and put the uh, divine restraining orders, God's restraining orders into place in behalf of us and our family. But I want you to notice what this widow said. When she came before the judge, she literally said, get justice for me. She said, get justice for me, watch this, from my adversary. So she was saying, I want the devil judged. I don't want to just be free from judgment. I want the devil judged and I want back what he stole from me. God did not only vindicate Job, he gave him punitive damages. What does that mean? That means he said, look, I am going to give you twofold everything you lost for your pain and your suffering for everything you have gone through i as the righteous god the god of all the earth the god of justice i am rendering a verdict that you are being repaid and restored on a double level to everything you lost you see we think that god's going to do some things separate from his people no Everything God does, He does in concert and in sync with His people that He has joined Himself to. So, not only are we groaning our own personal deliverance, our own personal breakthroughs into place right now, but your groanings before God can literally be connected to the adoption, the redemption of our bodies in that day that is yet to come. I'm just trying to picture for you how powerful this particular realm is. Episode, they're teaching the viewers how to petition the courts of heaven Amen. for specific requests. Tell us more about... I, 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 I'm just not through the courts of heaven yet. No, and I know you're and, not. And, and this honey, does tie into And that. I have it both of you yeah. back already. Yeah. So just but honey, make sure they get that on your schedule, okay? But honey, let me just give you a little... Okay, so when we were just watching that trailer, Lori, tell me what you just told well, we me. We were talking about when we were facing our legal challenges here at the ministry, yeah. our team would literally use your teaching. We would read from your book, yes. and we would enter into the courts of heaven, and you wow. taught us to prepare our case, yes. to prepare our case before the Lord, to ask Him to, to stand on those promises, and that is literally one of the amazing things that God used in our ministry to help us grow, to help us face those challenges, and to enter into the courts of heaven, petitioning. And here we are today, 
Our legal battles are over for yeah. now. You know, Amen. God has really blessed us. But he, it just, it helped us grow and it so, helped us understand what we Lori, were doing Lori, you're one during of the, that time. You're really one of the business directors of our show and our ministry behind the scene. You and your sister working day and night. So we are in a place right now where we can continue to move forward. We can move into where God has called our ministry, called us to be. So I will just say, you know, God gets the glory. He is the one that has walked through this valley with us. And he has been so faithful to our ministry Amen. and for all of our partners that have stood with us. We but love like, and appreciate it's you like so much. Right. We were winning and we've been winning. Because if, without a battle, there is no victory, you know. So we have we have these battles, and and we're just so thrilled yes. when God gives us victory. Yes, amen. Especially these long term, the, these battles are life and death. Mm -hmm. The enemy wants to bring down the church, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you, and I'm serious when when the in. Lori tells us, little Lori, we have two Lori's on the show today. So little Lori is telling you what the courts of yes. heaven, yep. and, and these girls are women of God. Yes. And I'm serious about that. They, they're not just my daughters. Mm -hmm. They are really women of God who we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the family mm -hmm. that praised and, yeah. and, and stands yeah. firmly on this. Yeah. But you're, you're teaching. Yes. They learn to bring our court case Amen. to yes. heaven's court yes. and plead our case. Amen. What do you think about that? I, I think it's awesome. It, and it thrills me, I mean, to be, uh, you know, one of the ones and many think you know, like my, the main one, if you will, that began to propagate this whole concept. Yes. Because most of, honest goodness, truth, most of what everybody was teaching, they got the original uh, from me because God just began to teach me mm -hmm. because of breakthroughs that we needed in our own life. But Daniel 7:10, for anybody that's kind of unfamiliar, the best, one of the best, maybe the best scripture on the court where it says that he's seeing, Daniel's seeing all of this activity in the unseen realm. And then it says, and the court was seated and the books were open. Mm -hmm. So what that means is that the books, that means um, that's, that's, the, that's the place that cases come out of. For instance, let me just use the ministry here. Okay. Your ministry has a book in heaven. Okay. It's written because you didn't just dream this ministry up. No. no. This ministry originated in heaven before time began. Amen. Right. That's what he says in Psalms 139, 16, that before time began, mm -hmm. anything that has a kingdom purpose, it was written in heaven before mm -hmm. time began. So what happens is that God, God comes and he begins to reveal what this ministry is supposed to be, what it's supposed to do. You take that prophetic awareness and you present it in the courts. Mm -hmm. And you say, God, let what you said about this ministry come to pass. And then anything that dares to touch that, mm -hmm. just like this onslaught you went through, mm -hmm. anything that dares to touch that, you bring that and you say, God, this is not about me. This is about your purposes. Mm -hmm. yes. This is about your will through this ministry. Mm -hmm. I'm asking that, that what you wrote in the book, it would come to pass. Mm -hmm. Everything that's supposed to happen would come to pass. And anything that dares to touch this thing, yes. I'm asking that judgment would come against it. Mm -hmm. I'm asking Amen. that you would judge that out of heaven right now from the courts of heaven. And you're asking for a legal judgment against anything that would dare touch the purposes mm -hmm. of God. Amen. And it, we, it, it's Paul. happening. Yes. It happened supernaturally, mm -hmm. which evil, I mean, like steel gates of hell have come against it. And, and what part do people have that watch our show that have sent in these offerings? We call them SOS offerings, save our stations. And yet without a miracle, there was, it, it, we were, can you imagine? We were losing millions of dollars. I mean, a, a, an income that was just flowing in that we were going to, we were building a new studio and we stopped the building the studio. We'll, we'll finish it, but mm -hmm. we just had to put it on hold for a while. But we had to stop because we, we just weren't, you know, you, it takes millions of dollars just to stay on the air. This is a huge network worldwide. Mm -hmm. Just the audience of this Jim Baker show is a billion, 600 million viewers. Potential, potential, potential viewership for that. And so we, we, it takes a lot of money. And so 
when the the enemy always wants to cut off money. Mm-hmm. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. And see, see, this is what you also, what I just said added to that. Once you get a judgment from the Lord, then you ask for restoration, yes. just like Job. Yes. Lord, we want double back yes. everything. Not only yes. what was lost, but we want punitive damages. See, punitive damages pays you for your pain and suffering. Is that true? Yes. That's what happened to Job. He got, he got double, double back everything double. he lost <laughs> because Job's whole, the whole book of Job is a court case. Even Job recognized that. He asked that I might stand before him, that I might plead my case. He, he understood wow. that there was something going on in the unseen world. And if See, he could get a dream judgment. I had last night. I'm sorry? My, the dream I had last night. The visions in the night. I had a glorious dream. I had a That's good night's awesome. sleep and you gra- glorious you dream. You slept well last night. It was great. Showed me what was going to be what my next phase was. Amen. Praise Thank God. You. So I'm not supposed to die yet. Yes. Okay? <laughs> yes. I'm a builder and I can build. Oh, I, I, I'm just the boss. So anyway, <laughs> I just dream it. When you see what God has for this place. Amen. Every, I mean, he, he showed me every detail of it. Sidewalks, walkways around, the, all the pl- things that he wanted here. Mm. Things that you wouldn't even think about. The new studios. Mm. I, I'm going to go ahead and announce something. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Well, none of the rest of us know about it. He hasn't talked to <laughs> well, myself. Only Lord. me and God know about it so uh-huh. far. He hasn't talked but, to us but about ar- it. Yet. Around the perimeter of, of of this great mountain, that's right where the studio is going to sit in the center. Amen. All the way on the edge, you show me how to level this thing out, put two stories of parking underneath, out of the weather, for the people that live here and now the people that. That's a beautiful that, thing. We like that. The people that. that uh, visit here right be out sure. of the weather sure. you know what i mean absolutely and i, I don't mean to go into my building but i saw it last night Amen. yeah that's and great. i said god where am i going to get the money <laughs> you got the money honey i got the time <laughs> <laughs> remember that was that a song or something i don't know what it's but, but see that that dream but you said it right now this is a piece of my puzzle that's Amen. right that's right. That dream is a prophetic awareness of what God intends to do. So you take that word into the courts and you say anything that would dare stand in the yes. way of this. Yes. We're asking for a judgment against that thing Amen. so that what God you know wants what? to be if, done if can be done. If we had just to what we lost Amen. in this mm-hmm. debacle, as I'm going to call it, we could do what I just yep. said. Yep. And, and I want to just say one other thing. It, I mean, it's connected, but separate. What I was saying here earlier, you know, a whole generation of Jews, uh, Israelites, died in the wilderness. That's right. Only two lived, mm-hmm. Jacob, uh, uh, Joseph, uh, Joseph, Joshua and Caleb. Okay, why did they live? Caleb said, Caleb, Caleb lived because the word he had from God kept him alive. That's right. You see, he had a vision from Ooh. God. And that, and Jim, God gives you visions because He intends for you to stay alive. And all the struggles you're feeling, that vision of God in your heart will pulsate and keep you alive when everybody else around you dies. Amen. Because that's what kept Caleb, Caleb alive. So that at 80 plus years old, He said, I'm as strong now as I was then. That's Give right. me my mountain. That's Amen. what wow. yes. Give me this my mountain. mountain right yeah. there. Wow. Yes, Lord. That vision is what keeps me alive. Lori knows that. Oh, yes, absolutely. I will die if, if it wasn't for God's calling. Amen. I have no other reason to live except for my family. You know, you, you always love your family. But but, but to fulfill what God but, called you yes. to do. But I, I don't, you know, with the extreme explosion I had in my body and in the brain and all, I, I needed, I need strength every day. Yes. I actually feel stronger today than I have in months. Yes, amen. Praise in God. Months. Oh, That's a praise report. But this report right here, 
can I pay you for this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any money, but I'm going to pay you. <laughs> this, oh, but man. this is worth everything. Yes. Yeah. And I can't wait to get the new book. Have, yeah. you know, but, Amen. But I'm, I'm just, this is, thank you, Lori, for sharing that mm-hmm. about how we stood on the courts of heaven teaching mm-hmm. to bring this about. Yes. We needed the courts of Amen. heaven. Yes. Yes. And there's people out there that you need to know you have great authority. You have a Supreme Court. Yes, yes. That's Amen. a Supreme and heaven court. May I say one? This is just kind of a fresh thing for me. Out of Luke 18, verses 1 through 8, and again, anybody that doesn't know the teaching, Jesus put prayer in a judicial system when he talked about a widow coming before an unjust judge. Yeah. And the point was that if this widow could get a verdict from an unjust judge, how much more can we come before God, the righteous judge, and see him render verdicts from his court? Because, because prayer, it, part of prayer is stepping into the, into the court or the judicial system of heaven. But here's what it says. Jesus said, and how much more will God avenge his own elect who cry out to him day and night? See, the court is made for the elect. Yeah. The court is built good. for the chosen of God. Praise yes. God. The people of God do not have to be afraid of going into the court of heaven. It's for them. And God says, come and bring yes. your case before me yes. so that I can render a verdict in your behalf and victory can come to your life, to your family, to your assignment. Yes. So you, good. So we're thrilled that your program, Robert, is on our network. Yes, we are. And so every week you're teaching people about their power with God in the courts of heaven. Mm-hmm. And that's on this network mm-hmm. that one didn't even exist when I had my stroke. That's true. Didn't even exist a year ago. And here it is going out all over the nation. It's amazing. This is part of this miracle. Yes. You're a part of it. You watch. And, and we need your help. Mm-hmm. That those thousand dollar gifts right, the are rebuilding that structure. Mm-hmm. The enemy tried to tear it down, but we are seeing it come back together. Amen. 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 Could, 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 may I say one more thing about your givers, your partners? Yes. yes. When they partner with you by giving their finance, they become a part of your breakthrough. What I mean by that is there is a connection made in the spirit that allows them to claim for themselves the same blessing that comes up on Jim Baker, PTL Network, all these kind of things. They're, because finances make connections in the spirit world. Yeah. And so whenever we, when we take our finances and we sow them, we are connecting to, to, to something that we literally have a legal right to claim drawing rights from. Mm, now, with that, you know, with that thousand dollars, I just want to say this: our SOS, we have to put it out there for you because I believe there's so many people that want to partner with us and help this ministry stay on the air and have help this network that is growing and like having Robert Henderson teach yes. on the courts of heaven. You can just turn on PTL Television Network and there he is. And this is one thing I loved what Perry Stone said when he was here a few weeks back. He said. This is a network that you're going to have so many people on this PTL television network, Voice of the Prophets, long, long, long (laughs) long name, but PTL, that that other networks don't have on. You won't see them other places. Uh, But Jim has the courage to bring people on that maybe other people. I'm not saying you, Robert. I'm just saying I don't know who (laughs) it is that that he was talking about. But he said that, and he was right about that. Mm -hmm. that A lot of the prophets, you're working with these days, the young prophets yes. that are God's raising Yeah, up. these young and ones God are yes. coming spoke to me in the prison. There would, he, would, he, he was going to raise up young prophets Amen. and old prophets, and there's people that just hadn't been heard. Wow. Amen. And that's that right. I, would, I was to give them the platform for it that's and it. build this network. And, and that's, 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 and that's, that's, that's what that's we're doing. So on. with that $1,000, just don't quit, SOS offer. We have Joan Hunters, which we love this, <laughs> the Miracle Blanket. We absolutely love this. So you know the story if you've been watching us that we had a couple RNs come to the house and literally present this to us. So they went to, there they are, Leela and Jenny. We love you guys. Um, and they came to present this to us and then laid the blanket over Jim because Joan Hunter and mm-hmm. her team pray over every single blanket. And um, it was just really a moment of, and everyone was just praying in the spirit which yes, we're yes. about to talk about <laughs> and in that in our room there it was very exciting 
and also you receive uh, Joan's Just Don't Quit. These are inspired um, stories that will inspire your faith when you just don't quit. It's an easy read. It's a fun read. You will love it. And also we have um, His Healing Promises by Joan Hunter, who is speaking the word with soaking music behind it. It's absolutely you know, excellent. I, I would say, if, just in my math in my head, that 50% of our backlog has been taken care of already. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's still a big hunk, but we got maybe 50% more to go. This, if we had the same amount of what people have done with those $1,000 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in the next month, yes, we can bad. see us current that's yes. right. Within month. Yes. And don't forget, with that offer, I just want to throw this in. You'll get your book, honey, your brand new book. You can make it. God's faithfulness in dark times. Brand past, new book. Just present, out. Present and future. Yeah. Jim Baker. A lot of prophetic Washington. words in that book. There's a lot of prophetic words. We're going to be talking yes. about that in this next few days as well. So order the books today. Order the product today. And Everybody, if you say, Jim, I just can't do $1,000, but if everyone would just give you a, a gift yes. right. over the next few weeks, mm -hmm. $10, $20, $50, $100, something, and just say, Jim, I'm just sending an offering. I just want to send something. It adds together. Mm -hmm. exactly. It's the multiple miracle that God has. Yes. So thank you for giving. And yes. I, you can call us or you can write us or you can go to the website, jimbakershow.com. And while you're calling, make sure you order today's book, The Gift yes, of Tongues. This is really and this we're gonna is get interesting into that, that you went there. I love it. It ties in with the courts of heaven. Yep. It is incredible. And I love knowing about people's experiences when mm -hmm. they, I have a good friend who I'm going to have you autograph a book for. She just got filled with the baptism oh, wow. of the Holy Spirit, yes. but the evidence is speaking in tongues. And every time she's next to me, she goes, can I just pray in tongues? I'm like, sure, <laughs> go ahead. You know? And, so, and so anyway, I want her to give her this book. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. This book is where your power is. And we've got to have I'm just going to ask you a quick question, and then I, I boy, I'm going to run out of time. He's but coming back on tomorrow. It. We're going to spend the whole day so with good. the gift mm -hmm. of tongues. Yes, we are. It's and a gift. The, is tongues an optional kind of thing, or is it something that is a vital part of the church? I believe, I believe it's vital. I think people have made it optional through negative teaching, uh, different things. I mean, that's the first chapter in the book. Why the debate? Why, why, why are we even, the, you know, almost from my perspective, why are yeah. we even debating this? Because, because Paul said, I, I speak in tongues more than you all to the Corinthians. So I believe it's a vital How could they part. say this not of God? Yeah, and, and here's the... And you here, deal with this in your book a lot. The, the, deal, the deal with that, whenever they say it's not of God, they're treading on really, really dangerous territory. Why? Be because in Mark, Jesus talked about the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, and, and people debated what that is, but he clearly defines it there. He basically says this, that if you attribute the works of the Holy Spirit to the devil then you are getting dangerously close to the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Now, I know some Which people do it. Which is unpardonable sin. Uh, unpardonable sin. Is I believe that, that people that do it in ignorance, there's mercy. But I know that there are some that literally, what, for whatever reason, they are adamantly opposed to tongues, and they actually know better. They are suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. It's what Romans says. And the Bible says that judgment will come on in anybody that does, I, I don't want to be guilty of that. That's why, no matter how wild something might look, I'm really slow to say that's not God, and especially to say that's of the devil. Never, never. I mean, I think we have to be really, really careful because God can do some really unorthodox stuff. Yeah, oh, right. sure He can. <laughs> He's God. So I always try but, to teach my but kids. I want to say God. this about tongues yeah. and and the courts of heaven. You see. I believe many times, because when we pray in tongues, we're speaking mysteries, I believe many times we are stepping into the courts of heaven in our prayer language, even when we don't realize that that's what we're doing. We're, but, but the Bible also says, Paul said this in Corinthians, he said, I will pray in the spirit, I will pray with my understanding, I will sing in the spirit, 
I will sing with my understanding. What does that mean? That means that when, while, they're, while they're ministering in tongues, it actually opens up their understanding so that they can pray with understanding out of what they just prayed in tongues. So that means that one of the ways I can present cases in the courts is that I'm praying in the Spirit, and all of a sudden I have a, a prophetic awareness of something that I then can now with my natural language come and present in the courts. That happens to me so much. If it wasn't for tongues, I would not have the revelations I have today. The revelations I have today come from me praying massive amounts of times in the Spirit, and that opens up the spiritual realm and lets me present things in the court. I want you to order the book, and if you do, you're going to get a video. <laughs> if you don't have it. The video, a uh, free video with it is mm -hmm. a bonus. So for it's Robert a, Henderson, $25 for mm -hmm. both of them. Preaching here on Gray Street is mm -hmm. what this DVD is for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the same subject, but it's going to give you in depth. This is going to give you the strength you need. Yes. We've got to have all the power of God. Amen. Amen. We don't have a right to rule, write the, the, the speaking in tongues out of the Bible. That's right. That's it's it. there through the whole Bible. You know, it's, it's, and it's in the New Testament church. It, it was so important. Amen. And for us to be, it, it's just like what this cancel culture, <laughs> this has been going on towards tongue people speaking they called us christians and the power of the tongues why life and death and the power of the tongue but the power <laughs> of speaking in tongues is so powerful tomorrow's broadcast we're going to go into this book of, of, of why it's so powerful amen and what's going to happen to you i want you to order it right now for a gift 25 dollars. you're getting the, the video and the book that's right. Order it right now. Or we have the friends and family offer, I call it. That's my own personal name for it. But it's the three, the Gift of Tongues three book offer and one DVD because there are people like me who just have, I have a friend that was just got, and she's been a Christian a long time. But it's a new thing for her. And it was so exciting to, as she shared her experience with me and I shared mine with her when I got filled with, with the baptism of the Holy Spirit speaking in other tongues. And I'm telling you, it's, it's exciting when you share one, one another's experiences Amen. and it's what God It's supernatural, does. by the way. It's so yes. supernatural. Yes. yes. Yeah, and that's, you know, sometimes people... In, in, in a genuine, sincere way, or trying to help people <laughs> pray in tongues, yeah. I'm like, you know, it, it starts in your spirit. It he does. said, out of your belly, out of your spirit will flow rivers of living water. Amen. And when that unction starts there, people just have to open their mouth and let, let it out. That's it, right? Just let yeah. it out and yeah. not be afraid of what it sounds like. Exactly. Yeah, yeah they have to, they have, you have to make up your mind. I'm not going to be concerned with what it does or doesn't sound like. I remember when I first started praying in tongues, these people would have these flowing, wonderful Beautiful prayer language. Beautiful prayer language. And mine sounded like I was speaking gibberish. Yes. I know. I think we've all gone through that. Exactly. But what happens, the longer you let it run, yeah. the more pure and clean and free it becomes. It tr it's so that. true. It's true. Yes. So good. That. Yes. Exciting subject. There's so much happening in the world today that I wanted to ask you about, and I, I'm, I'm running out of time. <laughs> I may have to do it tomorrow, but let's just start a little bit. Mondo, uh, we're seeing so much happen in the world with the drought and fires on the West Coast. And Afghanistan. Uh, the the yeah. flooding Talk about on the East Coast. Talk about for people. Mm -hmm. and Afghanistan, Laurie, you've oh, you been watching. So broken. That horrible mm -hmm. debacle. Mm -hmm. Can I put it that way? Mm -hmm. Let's watch this clip and then we can talk about it. Fire in the West, flooding in the East, a record-breaking summer with more than a month still left. The Colorado River is facing an imminent threat, and in today's climate watch, the federal government is declaring a water shortage at the nation's largest reservoir for the first time in history. We're living in a mega drought, and that's not hyperbole. From the early 80s to a year ago, Lake Powell dropped 120 feet. But in the last year alone, the lake dropped an additional 30 feet.
Tonight, the Caldor fire burning out of control, destroying homes. Thousands evacuated east of Sacramento. The town of Grizzly Flats leveled by flames. Two people injured, airlifted to safety as flames swallowed the forest, jumping roads. The towering columns of smoke so hot and thick they grounded air operations for a time. A historic start to the fire season in California. 1.3 million acres burned already, a more than 50% increase from this time last year. It is heartbreaking to see. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee said the aftermath of the flooding is a devastating picture of heartache. Several children were swept away. Floodwaters ripped twin babies, Ryan and Riley, out of their father's arms. Their bodies later recovered. Meanwhile, among the missing, two-year-old Kellen snatched away from his mother and four siblings. They were on the clotheslines hanging on. It was a wonderful trip. Henri arrived in force in Rhode Island, bringing high winds and rain to southern New England. Water splashing onto roadways in Martha's Vineyard, winds whipping the trees. Last night, New York City saw one of its hardest downpours in history. With heavy rains causing transformers to explode and more than 140,000 homes in the Northeast to lose power. Henri is still dumping rain. In fact, the storm is expected to come back this way and bring more rain to this area, which could delay some of those efforts to get the lights back on. The storm is becoming that guest that just won't leave. Well, in addition to all these weather events, we are hearing reports of earthquakes, Mondo. Yes, sir. Over 6.0 more. Yeah. You know, of course, the one in Haiti. Yeah, that was yeah. very We're watching this grow more and more reports, and they're getting overshadowed by Afghanistan reports and all that. But on the second show, we'll deal with more about and some Afghanistan of the Afghanistan is huge. I mean, that is, that is, they say it's the worst event for Let me America give you one headline outside of what's been happening. This is according to The Guardian. Afghanistan could start to run out of food by September, UN is warning. So not just the war, but we're watching mega droughts, food shortages is not even the question. They are running out of food and supplies, and they are doing this to themselves. America can no longer help them. America is right now at a tipping point. Pray for this nation. Pray for the leadership in this nation making wrong decisions that is affecting worldwide events. And these are the events that, that you talked about on page 153, worldwide judgments. And we're watching this play out right before our eyes. I can only think of what do we do? We can go up to the courts of heaven and ask God for mercy for this nation and for the world. Robert, where are we according to the prophetic timeline? Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm not an expert on that, on, on end time events, even though I believe we're in the... But you're living in I'm them. I'm living in them. <laughs> we're in the end time. And I believe, I believe that the church today is more important than, it, than it's ever been. I do too. Because the, the Bible actually talks about if, if that was removed, I mean... We're, we are what's holding things in place. Right. Without the church in prayer, without the church doing what it's supposed to be doing, we think it's bad now. It would be unbelievable. It would, uh, it would be like unbelievable. Like a big explosion over all America. That's that right. And, and that's why we as a people need to pray, because this is what I believe. In the middle of all of this, God's going to release a great revival. Pray yes, that there yes. is going to be an outpouring of His Spirit yes. unparalleled yes. that is going to sweep millions and even billions into the kingdom yes. of God. Well, it has to be because this isn't just the end of the end times. This is harvest time. That's right. That's, you know, we have to always remember that. This is harvest time. Yes, there's going to be a great falling away, the Word says, but it's the harvest time the, when the, right here, the, right the, now. The meeting I was just in on Pentecostal fire, this is yes. what one of the young evangelists said. People are getting saved because COVID is making them know they're not immortal. Mm, and they're oh. realizing we're going to die. Yeah. Not Maybe not now, but at some point we're going to die. Right. And it is causing people to look at their eternity. Mm -hmm. You said there's True. a way to receive divine protection from the courts of heaven. What must we do? Well, I believe Job is a picture before he went through what he went through. There was a hedge around him. And... But well, as long as, and that means a literally a protective restraining order, if you will. 
It's not some kind of flowery thing that the devil can't penetrate. It's a legal rendering that says you can't go past that. You can't touch him. He's mine. And, and whenever he, that was set in place, three things happened. No harm could come to Job in his house, accumulation of wealth, and great influence. Because the enemy had no power to devour that because he couldn't touch him because he was behind the restraining order of God. Amen. It's awesome. Your new book is out right now, The Gift of Tongues, what it is, what it isn't, <laughs> and, uh, and why you need it. That's right. And I love, Jim, real quick, what Bill Hammond says in the foreword. I love this part. God the Father's greatest gift for the world was his only begotten son who came to purchase his church with his own blood. Jesus' greatest gift to his church was the Holy Spirit. Amen. Did you ever so think good. of it like that? That's Jesus' greatest gift that he left for us is Holy Spirit. In closing, I, I, I pray you'll order the book, The Gift of Tongues. This is the next step for some of you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some of you old timers who speak in tongues but haven't for a long time. You need to get this. Yes. The video comes free. The book is the brand new book off the press that you must have today. Our good friend Bishop Bill Hammond wrote the introduction to this book. Mm -hmm. So I want you to get both these items for a gift of $25. And if some of you could just add five, ten dollars to it to just say, Jim, here's a little offering to help us. We're gonna see that miracle. We're just gonna get it out of debt. We're yes. gonna we're gonna get back strong so that we can get back on the track of getting the new building opened. This is the last day preparation center. Mm -hmm. And I believe God wants us to build it. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're in the last days, but we're not giving up, yes. not till he comes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, our time is gone, I guess. All right, don't miss tomorrow. You don't want to miss any of this. We really are getting, going to get into the brand new book, The Gift of Tongues, with Robert Henderson on tomorrow's broadcast. Please, please give today. Send an offering of any amount to say, we want to stand with you, Jim. Lori, give me that phone number one last time. You can call us at 1-888-988-1588 or go to the website, jimbakershow.com. God loves you. He really does. Thank Robert Henderson for being with Thank us today. You.